So what is interface and how does it work? Interface is also advanced topic. Most people don't use interface because they don't know it, but it is very powerful. In your project, if you don't use interface, I'll be fine. Why? Because normally when, when should I use interface? So there is a special guideline that if you have a two compartment, or sorry, component, if you're two component, so example, door is one component and log is another component. So you need to have two components. So example, Amazon site is one component and FedEx is another component. Amazon is one side and JP Morgan or Chase is another component. So when you are two component, when you are two component, then you should use interface. If you're only one, you can't use. So why I need interface? So interface allows me, interface allows me beautiful thing called plug and play. Speak with me, plug, plug and play. play. So what happened is, make sure you pay attention. These are very hard topic, by the way. So don't take it lightly. Remember, I'm teaching on seventh week. Makes sense? Not first day. Something is important, right? So this is not simple thing, but in interview, guaranteed thing. Let me repeat. Guaranteed they will ask. Interview is not hard, but the question which they ask, you are not able to answer. This is going to be in your interview. It's very important topic because entire world work on interface. So understand the concept. Interface you only use when you have two component or two applications. Example, Amazon is talking to FedEx. Example, you go to some website and they have a maybe connections with the Stripe or PayPal. The reason people use interface is main component. So in our case, Amazon. Amazon is working with FedEx. But then they also want to work with maybe uh, UPS. They also want to work with USPS. So if they want multiple people can work with shipping aspect, so they create an interface for shipping. So what happened? Sometimes they use FedEx, sometimes they use UPS, and sometimes they use USPS. Think about if you have component called shape. Now, if shape are many type of shape, so let's say I want to have triangle, sorry, circle shape, rectangle shape, and I want a triangle shape, right? So these are different, different type of shape, but I want to have certain flavor that every shape should have area. Then I create an interface, listen carefully. I create an interface. And I ask this guy question, do you want plug and play? They say, yeah. So the shape say, this is the contract. Speak with me. This okay. is the contract. Do you want to plug and play? Circle say, yeah, I want to plug and play. So the first thing you do, write a logic of this area. You have to write a logic. I'm not going to write logic. I'm going to say, say, you should need area. You write a logic of area. Then I can do plug and play. Rectangle say, what about me? You want to work? I have one method, area. Would you like to implement? Rectangle say, yeah. Now rectangle area is length, time, width. Yes or no? That's fine. If you implement, you can plug and play. Circle area is kind of different. Pi r square. Doesn't matter. If you want to work with me, implement my method. Triangle. <laughs> what about me? Do you have method? No. You can't plug and play. Do you want to be? Okay. Write right area. Write a logic. One divided by base time height. When you do that, now you can do plug and play. So this is a contract. Please pay attention. These are important topic, guys. And these are implementer. Speak with me. If you want plug and play, you better implement. If you don't implement, it won't work. So now, think about, I want to see your logic. I want you to think about that. Please pay attention. This is my interface. And in that interface, the name of the interface, sorry, 
The name of the interface is called lock, L-O-C-K, lock. So I have interface and then, and then name is lock. Let's say I have two method, lowercase open and close. How many methods I have? Two. And they will not have logic. Right away method and semicolon. They will not have logic at all. So lock contract expect two methods. How many methods? Can I have three? Yes. Can I have five? Yes. Can I have one? Yeah. Can I have zero? No. You got to have something. So lock is the interface. Now, lock say, hey, anyone in the world wants to do the lock work, then they need two things, how to open and how to close. So then they come up with a, say, do you want to plug and play? So then digital lock comes, they say, I'm a digital lock. I want to implement. So the first requirement is use open and write a logic for open method. Logic, how to open. Then close the logic. And then you can have plug and play. Key lock say, hey, I want to open. Key lock say, that's a class. They have to also open and close. Each class does differently. But as long as they use the contract correctly, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Plug and play. Make sense? Because customer, listen carefully. Customer is you or me. They just know lock. And they just know open and close. They are going to just do open. If you have plug and play, it will call this method and logic will work here. In case close, you have done this method, it will close. Customer doesn't know these things. Customer only know that they have an interface. Example, when I bought a laptop, I have a USB drive. So I only use USB drive for my keyboard, for my mouse, for my scanner, for my printer. It works. It just works. So what is USB here? Interface. What do you call? Interface. Do you guys agree? What is keyboard here? Interface. Implementer. What is mouse here? What is scanner here? They know how USB works. Whatever USB has specified, they all have done. Mouse has done, keyboard has done, scanner has done, printer has done. But let's say you buy a special camera. They have not implemented all those contracts. You plug and play, will it work? So that's why when you look at any digital box, when you buy mouse or keyboard, there's a box and there's a behind specification. This works for this operating system. What does it mean? Verify for those interfaces. Make sense? Are we understanding? So interface, first of all, first question they will ask, when should you use? So you have two dissimilar component. Do two dissimilar component, door and lock. Make sense? So if you have two dissimilar system, you use interface. Example, Amazon, example, UPS. Two dissimilar system, you use interface. The most important reason people use interface is plug in. Plug in, plug in, play. Will interface have a logic? No. no. Interface no. should not have a logic. If you add two methods, both methods will have semicolon, means no logic. So interface should not have logic. What about interface method? Are they private or public? By default, public. By default, because if you do private, then no one can implement it, right? It has to be public so everyone knows what you are expecting. Make sense? So interface we are going to do right now. This is the first time we are doing, so low goal a little bit slow. We'll do lock interface. It's not hard at all, guys. But I want you to understand. We'll use the same project, so it will save some time. I don't want to create a new project, okay? So let's start interface. So we're going to do lock interface. So let's start here. So right click on a package new and look for other look for other right right click new look for other and when you look for other you will see 
Java and look for Java interface. Make sure you select Java interface, right? Easy. And now finish. When you do finish here, I'll write L capital log. L capital log. And finish. So you can see it will have a noun word called interface. So that's the reason it is different. It's not a class, it's interface. Interface means you are touching to dissimilar system. Now here I'm gonna write method. Open and close. So let's get started. <clears throat> so here I'll say public void open and semicolon. And public void close. That's all. And you're done with the interface. Pretty easy. So if you want, listen carefully, in your project, especially bank project, if you want certain thing, listen carefully, that every customer should have force. So the lock is forcing actually. Digital lock, you got to have open or close. Key lock, you got to have. So interface gives you force. Key lock, you must have these two methods, right? So if you want every customer should have something, then you can create a customer interface. If you want every account should have something, then you can create account interface. Once you create account interface or customer, interface, then your account type. So you use dotted line if you remember. And then you can say account, saving account. It means saving account must do something which is in part of interface. You can have different thing also. Listen carefully. You can have different thing, but you must do something which is interface is forcing you. So right now, lock is forcing these two, but key lock can have attributes. Key lock can have other method also, but they have to have two methods, additional method. Make sense or Are we understand? So two methods they will have. So interface force contract. Speak with me. Interface force code. So if in inter interview people ask, how do you make sure that everyone has this method? Answer is interface. You create interface and then whoever is implementing interface, implement interface, whoever implement interface, they got to have those two methods open and close. Make sense? If they do, then they have to follow. So we'll do that part. Ready? So right now I have interface with how many methods? Two methods. Now let's create a class. Right click, new Java class. This time I'm doing Java class. New Java class new java class now when you do new java class we're gonna write class name so here i'll say uh, key lock let's start with key lock key capital and lock key lock right key lock now finish so when you finish you will have empty class right now, I want to de decorate, first of all, the normal way we decorate the class with attributes. So like this key lock has attribute called make, right? <clears throat> so I'll say string, sorry, my mistake, private string make. So there is a make class, sorry, yeah, attribute make. Now, they might have price also. So let's say private float price. So far, so good. Now, these are two I have. So I'm, I want to do setter and getter. And so I can do that, but wait for a few seconds. So this is what I have. I can do setter, getter, constructor, two string. You know very well. But now I want to say, hey, wait a minute. This is not just like a key log. I want to plug in play key log. So this key log, I want to plug and play to the lock. So if I want to do plug and play, then I have to write implement. What I need to write? Implements. Implements lock. What do I need to write? Implements lock. Means I want to plug and play my lock to this lock. Make sense? So let's do it. So here, they're going to say implement. Implements. And L stands for lock. As soon as you say, it will cry. It's going to cry. Why it is crying? Because force is coming. 
this we are saying i want to plug and play here and locks are you kidding locks are you kidding why because locks say i have two operations open and close you don't have at all so it is giving a hint here did you implement until you implement i'm going to cry make sense so if you click on that it will give me option to implement check it out make sure you understand whenever you are using interface you got to use word implement make sense so this is interface this is the class if you don't implement listen carefully interview question interface and class if you don't implement then you have to write abstract you have to write abstract so what is abstract abstract will have some method implemented and some method is not implemented but interface has no method implemented interface is just a method no logic abstract class has some method has a logic and some method has no logic so if i say abstract then java will be happy check it out so if i just write abstract error will disappear abstract java will be happy java say i know that you have not implemented but that's not what we are doing so i'm going to remove that i want to implement so i'm going to click on this light bulb and say implement all abstract method abstract means no logic so we are saying hey implement it so if i implement here it will add this to method you see automatically it adds that yes sir say yes yes yeah. so far are you guys with me give me thumbs up because i'm going to cover a couple of things okay awesome now you show that one more time so far with me give me thumbs up okay okay now i want to make sure you follow me here there will be a question in interview what is override okay just pay two minutes and you will know log is a parent actually and key log is a child so parent has a method called open and child has also method called open so you are saying whatever you have i am overriding overriding means no if someone use me they will use mine not yours so i am overriding over writing over writing means parent method no one will use my method people will use so what's the benefit so parent you know there is no logic do you guys agree parent doesn't have a logic so if somebody go there the parent has to send to child because there is no logic so that's why we are overriding so there will be a question in interview so the way you can explain like this way for override you need a two class parent and child and both should have a same method name open open and then if there is a relationship either is a relationship or realization relations in that case child method overrides parents but you need a two class parent and parent and child. if you don't have parent child override cannot happen there is a reason we are overriding because parent doesn't have a logic let's say there is a logic can i still override yes this logic may be old yes or no there is a reason we are overriding because logic is old so we are overriding overriding means you are removing that effect so people use the new that's pretty much it but when i implement it is unnecessary throwing exceptions so let's remove this exceptions remove this line and remove this line also because we're going to write logic remember we need to write logic so now we have to empty. so here i'm going to write a simple logic whatever i want to write i can write here but i'm going to write here s out s out tab and i'll say key log is open and here i'll write s out and i'll say key log is close so i just wrote some method some logic here i can write anything i want for open whatever i need to do i can write a logic here and whatever i need to do go close i need to write logic the time being i just want to show you the concept so that's what i'm doing so first of all 
first everyone understand why am i writing implements because this is the interface then i get an error when i click on that and i get this method and this method i remove that unsupported exceptions and added this pretty good now i am going to work on these attributes ready okay so let's work on it so check it out so now please pay attention uh, i can use up air, up or down which wherever i want doesn't matter insert code getter and setter check 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 right insert code and constructor check 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 insert code and two string check 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 so that's done so key lock is done any questions so far key lock is done make sense please understand this logic which i wrote here i wrote only one line but you can write here for loop you can write if conditions you can write depends on your logic you will write here because right now we are trying to understand now i'll go to driver class second driver driver class so i'm in a driver class okay now here i'm going to use the lock so you can see how it works ready so first you write a interface so i'll say lock and i'll say l1 or lock1 let's do lock1 equals to so this lock represents this interface and this is my variable so the, the log variable and now i need to plug and play right now which class i have available only key log so let's do that so it's a new key log and then parenthesis control space so it will give you hey you need a make and float so make let's say i'll say abc log and price let's say ten dollar 99 cents and f so lock is plugged and play. So right now you can see lock is not crying. It's a pluggable because I plugged it. I plugged it. Make sense or not? Now please understand I have a lock and I want to ask what can you do for me? So check it out. I'll say lock one dot. It is giving me couple of method but most important method is giving open so i can do open lock and i'll say lock one what else you can do so you say i can do close also you can see that i'm only working with lock not a key lock you can hide this aspect by highlighting this in a comment just do comment highlight this aspect so it won't confuse you highlight this thing and comment out so that way it will remove this part and hide that part basically now you save it and run and see what you get and you get you have nicely plugged key lock and you can see now it is saying key lock is open key lock is closed make sense but now let's say you change your mind first of all give me thumbs up if you are able to see this result everyone got it getting good now you change the mind and you say no 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 i want to do digital lock i want to do digital lock so let's do it so right click here new java class right click new java class right click new java class and let's do digital lock digital lock digital lock digital lock and finish now in digital lock what should i write here now what should i write extends or implements implements thank you thank you implements what should i write implements lock, lock. it's gonna cry yes or no now if i click here it will say implement this i click on the 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 arrow the error right it gives me option. Do you want to implement it? I say yes. I want to implement it. 
and I want to remove this throw part, right? And I want to remove this throw part because throw part means I did not do anything. And now I'll write here S out tab. And I'll say digital log log open and S out tab digital log close. Make sense? So here I did not add any attributes. I did not add any attribute. There is no setter and getter. Um, so that if I don't give any setter and getter, if I don't do any empty, uh, any constructor, the default constructor will be there. Make sense? Right now, digital log implements the log. I did not add any attributes. I did not have any setter and getter. I do not have two string. I do not have constructor, but it's still fine because this is a digital log, okay? Now, if I save it, that's a save. Now let's go to drive. You see here, hello. If you have done digital log, right? You come here. Now you say, you know what? I changed my mind. Initially I had a key log, but now I want to use digital log. So check it out. I'm writing log one equals to new digital log and you're done. So now what will happen if you save and run, the lock is now replaced with the new lock and it will say digital lock. Wow, that's pretty cool. You did not change the lock options. Lock is still lock. You see that? Last time it was working through this one, but because now it is removed, new one is added. This is suddenly becomes digital lock. Wow, this one did not change. Did you notice that I did not change any of this? The only thing I plug and play. Tomorrow, if I have like a, uh, what do you call, fingerprint lock, it will work the same way. Make sense? The main part I did not change. Main part I did not change. But only I change. Can I comment this part? I can use that? Yeah. I can directly use lock here, digital lock here, and then key lock can override. But my, you can see the lock is a lock and I'm not changing this part. Even I use key lock or I'm using digital lock, it is just working. Make sense or not? So what's the benefit? Benefit means both locks are following this method. So it doesn't matter from user perspective. It is key lock or digital lock. When user call open, key lock will open. If user can open or close, key lock will close. Whichever is available, automatically it will work. So user has a tremendous advantage for this type of plug and play. Questions? People on phone, any questions so far? So far so good? See, if you are making mistake, means you are not understand. So I have me... a question. Uh -huh. Why so it is the, taking so long time? I'm, I'm sorry, the... I'm thinking in my mind. So the whatever we wrote, the latest, the newest one, that is going to be the one that's going to be called? Yeah, like... yeah ask yourself question. You had a door, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And your, your lock called key lock here, mm. right? Right. You don't like it, so you bought new lock. And then when you do new lock, so this is now new lock is done. So which one is the last one? Mm -hmm. It'll be used. Mm -hmm. So they cannot go back to the key lock unless they change it and bring it down? You can. Let's say tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you said digital lock is not working for me. So you can lock one equal to, again, new lock. And this by XYZ bought. You bought XYZ oh. and maybe you bought $100 lock. Who knows? Okay. Because your house is very uh, valuable. <laughs> now you run it. Okay. So you can, that's the beautiful part about this uh, in interface. You can plug and play. Okay. See, now it will give you key lock. Digital lock is gone. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to create the new instance either. Sorry? You don't have to create like, you can no, because, lock one. Be, yeah, be, because here I have overwritten, so it's gone. So I, I, I have overwritten, so I have to, I have to do this part. If I do lock one, lock two, then that's not. So because this guy is effect is gone by this guy. So I have to do it. I have to do it, right? Because 
this was log one, right? And then this guy overrides. So now there's no effect of key log. So now again, I'm breaking new. Good. Now and the new digital lock doesn't have any information in it as far as price or the string, correct? And that is that is I'm coming. So I think thank you, Mike. You got it. But I see see some of you are having error. If you are have error, means you are not really paying full attention. Ideally, you should not have error. Remember one thing: this is more understanding class. The understanding means zero error. Okay, so make sure you understand. Otherwise, you will stuck in typing, and typing has no meaning. Trust me, this is not the thing you type. This is all you understand. That's why I'm drawing. That's why I'm explaining. The reason I'm taking time in explaining because it's beautiful when you understand. Otherwise, it's useless. I will be honest with you. You will now never be able to use. You only will be able to use when you understand. So if you're having error, typing mistake, you know, you have to pay a little extra focus. Okay. Now, Mike know and you also know that digital log has no attributes. And key log has attributes like price and make. Make sense? So when I go to driver and I want to know, listen carefully, see here, please. Lock one, get price, I cannot get it. Or get make, I cannot get it. Why? Because the digital lock doesn't have. Are you sure? Is that the reason? Think about it. Or is it in the lock we have no other classes? Again, you're very close, but you sp spoke in incorrectly. Method. Very good. Remember, it, there is a difference between yeah. method and class. So, could you repeat? I think you're close. In the lock uh, class, we don't have any methods. So, please understand lock only enforcing how many methods? So, if you are going and say, give me all lock. So, so far, there can be many lock available in the market, but lock only enforcing open and close. So everyone has that. But now my requirement is every lock should tell me the price. Every lock should tell me the price and every lock should tell me the brand or make. If I want to force that, then only way I can do is here. I need to add get price, get make. If I don't do that, it's not going to work. So now let's do it. Ultimately knowledge I'm giving you guys, trust me, it took me 16, 17 years to understand this concept, but I do not have a single day where I don't use interface. And in interview, guaranteed we ask. And 80% people do not know that. They memorize it. Two to similar systems in an interface. I say, okay, what's the benefit? Or two different similar plug and play, that's the benefit. Enforcement, that's the benefit. Customer doesn't need to know what lock you're replacing. That's the benefit. Your customer only going to use lock. Doesn't matter digital. Tomorrow, if you come up with the fingerprint lock or biometric lock, it's still fine. Customer only use one way. That's why it's beautiful concept. In your Selenium, 90% you're using interface. 90%. Think about and you don't know interface. How would they hire you? Everything in Selenium is interface. Everything. That is the reason Selenium is a cross browser. You can use any browser. Yes, sir. Question? No, I just. Okay. Now, let's go back to lock. And here we'll say public void get price. Public. Void, get, make, and save it. So, how many methods are added? Two more. Yeah, but void, I can't do void because price will be returned, right? Price will be returned. So, price will be float. So, I'll say float and a make, which is for spelling. So, I'll say string. 
right yes or no because i will be asking Do you guys understand why am I doing this? Because get price will give me price, dollar amount, right? And get make will give me this ABC, XYZ like that. It will return, right? Yes or no? So this is the return. Good. Now, only one person speak. Okay, think about it. Don't just randomly answer this question. There is a question I'm asking. Okay, if you do not know, don't other person do not speak up. I want to keep asking till I get the right answer. It is possible first person may give me right answer. Okay. So Sumit, I added two more methods here. Initially, I had two methods here. And we had two interfaces. Key lock, digital lock. Both were following. When I go here, I added two new methods here. But I noticed that key lock does not have error, but digital lock has an error. Why? Uh, because digital lock uh, did not have any attributes. That's it. I, 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 that's not right answer. Um, think about it. Why do I use interface? Interface. Um, it doesn't have any bodies, it's just... Uh... No, 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 I'm not talking about what is interface. I'm saying, why am I using interface? Okay. Force uh, to implement something. So, Silpi, why don't you tell me why key lock does not have an error? Okay. Why key lock doesn't have an error? Digital lock has an error. Uh, because think we had that string make and string price already in the lock system. Wonderful. Good job. So that's why I purposefully use exact same name, price and make in a key lock. Carefully I did when, we, when I started because it already have those methods. So let me just remove this method. As soon as I remove this method, get price, it's going to cry. Because if I do not have interface, are you kidding? But because I had interface, hey, you are already following. You don't need any error. You're already following. So now this guy is not following. Why? Because it doesn't have. So if I click here, it will tell us that you need to implement. Will it force four method or two method? Two methods. So now two more, right? Yes or no? But rather than doing this way, what am I going to do? I will add attributes, right? Yes or no? So why don't you add attribute? Go to digital and say attribute private float price private string and make private float price and private string make. Good. Then use getter and setter and constructor and two string. Quickly do it. You know what to do. Make sure the spelling is correct. Make and price lowercase, float and string. There should not be any mis mistake because it has to match exactly properly. So right click, insert code, getter and setter. Check, check, check. Then right click, insert code, constructor, check, check, check. Now right click, insert code, two string, generate. So now error disappear from digital log, at least for me. So I'm assuming you will also have error disappear. Hmm. Right now, let's go to my driver. Let's go to my driver, and here, digital log need a constructor, right? So we're gonna give a constructor. So we'll say, you know what? It's constructor CNN, CNN. That's their 
and manufacture twenty dollar and fifty cent float. And because I don't want to define this way, so string cannot be converted to float. So I have to do this way. I have to do control space because they have price first. So I have to put price first. They have price first. So twenty dollar fifty cents, and then CNN. So you can see now that working fine. I can use S out, and I can say price equals to log one dot price. So get price, my mistake. Get price. I can get the get price, and I can do the same thing. S out uh, make right equals to plus log one get make. So I can get that also. Save it. Now right click and run and you will see which were the thing are there. You're able to now force it and get the lock. You're still using lock one. Doesn't matter which lock you're using, you're going to get that lock, lock specific price and all. Make sense? Right now, last one is I'm using key lock. If I comment it out this one, if I comment it out this one, right, and save it. And if I run this program, it's going to use digital lock. So it's kind of nice way you are doing plug and play. Both lock are giving get price and all. Make sense? So this is the way you normally do the interface. Questions, concerns, doubt. You got the whole picture. If company wants to provide plug and play capability, then they will publish the contract. If anyone implement the contract effectively, then it will work. So many times you will be using interface, especially in Selenium a lot. Question, concerns, doubt with respect to interface. So the error that was showing for the digital lock mm -hmm. was because you did not have the methods for... You did not implement the methods, right? Yeah. The method, whichever you have in lock, has to be implemented by the child, which is the implementer. If child does not have, it will cry. And so for the method, then you needed the attribute. Attribute, you see, when you don't have attribute, it will be fine. Method has to be there. Because it forced method, it doesn't force attribute. Good. Now, any questions on phone? So far, so good. Now, please understand, interface part we have explained here, the abstract plot, I just want to make sure you understand, I'm not going to give you the lab for that, but the abstract plot part is very similar as an interface loss class. So what happened? In interface, you only have a method and then your semicolon. So it's a method name is there, only method name is there, interface. In a class, you have a method name where your logic inside. And you can have one method where you don't have logic. So if you have a child class, if you have a child class, in our case, we saw lock has digital lock, right? The child class. The child class has to implement both methods. Do you guys agree or not? But in if this case, let's say I have key lock, just an example. If I have key lock, and if key locks wants to extend here we do implement interface we do implement dotted line implement interface we do implement and this is the class abstract is the class so in that case we do extends what we do extends concept is still same extends right so what happened here one method has a logic so method has a logic you don't have to override you don't have to override but method which does not have a logic, you must write the logic. Do you see the difference? In interface, you have to write both method logic because they both method does not have logic. So you have to write both method logic in interface. And when you implement, you do realization. So we call implements. But in abstract class, it's a mix. Some method has a logic and some method doesn't have a logic. So child class, must implement the method which does not have logic 
and they can get the benefit of the, the logic. So they don't have to rewrite two methods. They reuse the method which is there in a parent class. So abstract class is normally used for combination, pluggable and reusability. Speak with me. Pluggable and reusability. Reusability means parent has it. So why you write? You just use it. Make sense? So parent has, you do use. But sometimes parents say, you know what? I don't know. You do it. So that called pluggable. So you get a both benefit. Abstract class is not popular as interface. Abstract class is mostly used for framework. I can give you guarantee, majority time you will not use abstract class. But I can give you guarantee, majority time you will use class or interface. Because it's more often used. Abstract class is very framework driven. Framework means very high improvement perspective. If you want to do that, some people say, you know what, let's do pluggable, let's do reusable, then people use abstract class. Otherwise, people normally work with interface or class. Sounds good? So if somebody asks, what's the difference between interface and abstract class? Give me one by one. Interface versus abstract class. What is the key difference? Uh, only method. Method. Interface, method. only methods. So methods have no logic. So method has no logic. But here you can have a method as a logic and method do not, does not have logic. Make sense? Interface is not a class. But class, abstract class is a class, yes. right? It is a class. So and, and, and interface, when you implement, you do dotted line. You do dotted line that is called realization. And the child class must implement all methods from interface. So child class use dotted line. What do you use? Dotted line to show that this is the parent and I'm an implementer. Here you use solid line and it is called easy relationship where you only implement which method is not have a logic. So here it's easy relationship. Easy relationship. Make sense? Parent-child relationship, this is a child and this is parent. So how many parents you can have? Only and only yeah. one. But, but in interface, that's not the right. In interface, Child class can have many, many interfaces. You can implement many interfaces. Child class can implement many interfaces. Make sense? And all those details I have documented here. So you can pick or read about it. Somewhere I documented different sheets. So you can read about it. It will help you for your exam or interview preparation perspective. What is abstract class? What is interface class? I kind of explain here. And I also documented here. Please do read. It is very important. Because in interview, people ask. Majority people fail on these type of questions. They know everything, but they don't know how to answer these questions. That's why today's class is considered very helpful for the interview perspective. Any question, concern before we take our first break? I have a question. Yes. So the child class of that uh, interface, mm -hmm. uh, they can have multiple methods, not only from one parent class. So in one class, they can have two methods from one yep. interface or two methods from other, right? Right, right. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so we have completed. Yes. So sometimes in a life, you will see options called drop down box. And sometime in your life, you see text box. So, example, first name, last name, you get a text box. Yes or no? First name, last name, you get a text box where you write whatever you want. Do you agree? But there are cases where you get a drop down box. Can you write what you want? No. Or you have to select? Select. So that selection in English called enumeration. Enumeration means you have finite list. Speak with me. Fine. Finite list. So example, states. Example, countries. Example, cities. Example, counties. Right? If, you, if I'm a dealer, this is where I was in GM. If I'm a dealer and I'm selling a GM, Chevy Malibu. That's what project I was working. So if I'm selling Chevy Malibu, it's a car, full size car. But let's say the car has only three color. Can I give text box or should I give drop down box? Do you agree or? So this is the enum. Enum means you don't want user to type or select anything. You just want user to use what you give them. The benefit of that user will not become creative. So we used to say color. So when we say color, you know how people write color, you won't believe that. 
people write color red 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 people like color red red people like color red red people write color r e d d red people are red like that so what happened every time they write this thing it looks like a new color in the market do you agree or not but technically speaking i don't want to do that i want to say red means red and i don't want you to write i want you to select right so that's where enum comes in picture so example if i'm selling i'm a dealer and if i'm selling cars trucks so i'm selling car and trucks am i selling bike no so if i want them to select would you like to buy car or truck should i give drop down box or should i give text box do you see the but we used to give text box so people write cycle people write motorbike people write spelling mistake and lots of complaint oh i'm not able to find it the reason you are not finding you're writing wrong spelling it took me long time to figure it out why people are not able to find because some people just write wrong and funny part i'll show you some funny part uh, i was working for chrysler so chrysler spelling is very awkward i personally think if you come from a different country you cannot write chrysler spelling correctly it it is very awkward so we did a in our data bank we search thousands of way people write chrysler how many thousands of way so then we realized man we are losing customer because they write wrong spelling because chrysler spelling itself writing this is very awkward so then what we get we come up with a very simple enum chrysler dodge and jeep there is no because we used to have a brand text box so enum as soon as we get enum our quality increase so example you have account how many types of account you have Checking, so checking saving and maybe maybe business as an example but let's assume you have two account so would you give enum or would you give textbook yeah. enum right if you have certain thing like example you are two type of customer right a business customer and individual customer would you give enum or yeah. see so in your project you should use enum in couple of my interview when i was applying long time back they asked enum so enum is a type speak with me type. but type has a list type has a list so example full time student part time students right international students so those are enum user can only select one of them and if i don't have you cannot select it make sense clear so enum means you give you list so user can select now it is better than string because string has a lot of way people write so now let's go to forum we are going to do one example and that has to be very clearly understood so you can easily do that part you can search control f and you can search enum you just search enum and you will find that one of our students went for interview and this was asked so i thought maybe it's good idea to write this enum so you can see here enum enum is a special type of class yeah enum is a special type of class so the way it works is so far you are doing class do you guys remember you are doing class so when we start if you cannot find means you are not seeing our forum very well Ella, right trust me there is a goal here you have to find it right control f enum right so in this class please understand so far we are doing public class do you guys agree so far we are doing public class but this is not a class this is enum and then you write what what you want and these are the only thing you will allow user to select make sense so if you say red means red green means green blue means blue so user has only three choice are you clear can i add a yellow yes if you want you can add here but user cannot add so who manage you manage so it's kind of nice because if i know the united states has a 50 state i don't want anybody to write anything right tomorrow let's say we add another state and I will change my enum. Makes sense or not? So enum gives you control and quality both. Now, you have to know two classes. Please understand. First, you create an enum class. And then these class, this class, you can use like this way, color dot blue. So this way, user is giving hint that he is only using blue. If you say color dot green, means user can do green color dot red means user is doing red 
but user cannot do yellow. Why? Because I don't have in my list. Clear? So if you are going to do account, so can I say public enum instead of account, what should I write? Account type. Account type. Are we understanding? Please a little bit use imagination. Public enum account type. And what would you write? Red, green, blue? No. So you can write saving okay. and checking. Normally people write in capital. But if you want to write lowercase, you can. If you want to write in uppercase, camel, uh, camel case, yes. Whatever way you write, you will write. Then afterwards, you will say account, account type. That you can write any name. If this is your custom name. Then dot. Then you can say saving. Account type dot checking. Make sense? Let's say you are creating another class called, uh, in your case, customer. So help me. What should I write? Your two type of customer business and individual help me public enum customer make sense now what should i write individual customer business customer do you think it's hard now now you understand this is the customer now whenever you are doing let's say uh, i would say customer type right let's not write customer we'll say customer type so now let's say your customer class your customer class Right. So here, just like you are saying customer has ID. So you can say int ID. Int ID. Do you guys agree? Yes or no? Same thing. Here you're going to say customer type. Just like this name. Whatever name you did. Customer type. C capital customer type. And then you can just say type. So this is your variable. This is your variable. But the this is the enum type of variable. Enum type of variable. So like example, customer has a name. So you can say string name yes or no but this is so this class which you create this enum you create you got to use it you got to use it make sense or no you got to use it if you don't use it then it's not gonna work so this is your drop down box so this is just a drop down box. but here you're using that drop down box in your class so example if i say color here so that my drop down box color but color itself is not valuable. Car is a valuable. Yes or no? So car has a color. So did you notice that I use it? And that is coming from here. So whenever you use enum, that's a smaller class. That class itself is not valuable because it's just a drop down. Box. But then you have to use that. So example, you have account. So account will be a class. And inside that you will use account. Account type. Type. Make sense or not? If you have a, uh, what do you call, um, we talk about account, let's say another thing, customer. So you have a customer class and you want to you wanna add enum. So what, what should you say? Right. Customer. That's it. So first step is create an enum. Second step is use it. Any questions so far? Right? Now, how when you use it, just like normal variable, you are doing default data type int and all. Every time you are going to use in. Make sense or not? Every time you are going to do in. So I'm going to go you, show you step by step this example. But first example, we're going to do cut and paste. So it will be easier for you to understand how it works. So let's get started. Start your NetBeam. Start your NetBeam. So first let's we'll start a file, new project, file, new project, file, new project. Please understand, Maven, in your case it is Java Maven, use Java Maven. Next, and I'll say my enum. My enum. Your project name, my enum. That's your project name. And finish. You guys are doing great so far, okay? So finish and expand. As you can see, we are doing step by step. We are explaining step by step. So if you pay attention, you will understand. So this is your structure about your project. Please, I have two classes to take. So you need to be energetic, guys. 
drink coffee, water, just trust me. You are how many? You are 15 and I'm one. I have, I will have a hard time. Okay, I have a long run to go and I have a lot more to do. Okay, today is Saturday. This is the, my family time also. So if I go home and tired, lethargic, my family will not like it. So please have your battery charged. That's why I use this, look at that charger. So this battery really charged very well. It's your, remember, charge your, I, I drink water and all. Today I didn't drink tea, but my battery is charged. After break, I'll drink tea. Anyway, this is the package. Right click on the package. Please carefully right click on a project. Don't go fast. New, you will not see Java Enum. Are you guys seeing Java Enum? All of you? If you are not able to see, don't cry. Please don't cry. Go to other. Don't go to other. So until you use Enum, it will not show up. So you got to go to Java New. Please see on the screen. Java New Other. Java New Other. Java New Other. Make sure. Please see on the screen. So it's easy. You don't have to depend on someone. See and do it. Java New Other. This will not show up until you use first time. So don't worry about it. Just go to Java new other. So you can say Java new other. And when you do other, you will get a lot of options. And from that options, you are going to select Java and you will select Enum. Java and Enum. And then onwards it will show up. Then onwards it will show up. Make sense? Say yes. Now. I'm going to write a color type. So I'll say, uh, I'm sorry, because we are doing car, so color, C capital color. Because we are doing car, so color is a drop down box. Year can be drop down box, right? Model can be a drop down box, right? Model, right? SXT, LA, LXT, right? Those are the model. You can have different, different type of drop down box. So if you want drop down box, it's enough. Very simple. So color and finish. Now you can see that is the empty enum. Oh, my mistake. Did I not select enum? Oh, no. Sorry for that. I thought I selected enum. My mistake. Sorry for that. Sure, when we're using for the project, we are yeah. not creating class to create the enum and then we make the. Yeah, one second. I'll answer this. Some reason I selected class. Sorry for that. Get, let me complete this. Java, I'll answer your question. Java enum. Make sure you select enum, right? And then next, and here you write color, right? So when you do color, it will select and finish, and you will see enum there. Okay, perfect. Can I count everyone is seeing enum? If you see here class, means you did it wrong. Make sense? Now, what's the question? No, when we do the project, the project will also create enum. You should. You must. I, I. If you don't do it, I would not give hundred percent because you are basic program. Advanced people use the right way. As I said, this is not must have, but this is should use, you should use, because this was introduced for a reason. Your class means your program become much more sophisticated. So it's a good idea to use. Otherwise, what will happen? You can write a string, color, red, and people will write 10 times red. So you will not be able to, even though you will have a car red, if somebody write capital red or lowercase red or mixed case red, you will not be able to sell car. So it's important that you, Minimize that ch challenges by enum. Right? So now I have enum. Now you can see here on our website, I'm comparing so you'll understand. I'm writing here these three words. You're welcome to write uppercase, lowercase, mixed case, but I, I, I like to write uppercase. So I'm going to write the same thing here, right here. Let's say I want to sell red color card and I want to sell blue color cards. Only two card I'm going to sell, and then semicolon. And that's all. You're done. So how many cards you're allowing? So this is your drop down box ready and the drop down box name is color and this drop down box we are going to use under car. So we will use under car and then we will create a car through driver class. Make sense or no? Remember last week we talked about driver class. So in driver class we are going to create an instance which is called car1 right and then we will do color and all and then we will print it. So when we print it we are done. So you can see we have three classes now. Enum, Enum is the first class that enum we are using in a car class and then driver, right? Step by step, we'll do that. See, guys, I'm teaching such a way that even a small kid can understand. 
but you have to do some homework you have to participate because these are advanced topic it i am teaching that's why you feel like easy trust me people don't even teach this subject because it's hard <laughs> teaching this type of thing is hard people just keep it lifetime people don't even know what is enum means but you know so make sure you use it more you use easier it will become so we have enum ready now let's right click on our package and let's create a class called car so right click new java class this time we are going to do java class so new java class new java class new java class so new java class and this class name will be car c capital car c capital car so now you can see i have car is a new class which is empty now for learning purpose i am creating a uml diagram just to show you what we are trying to do right now so please understand this is my car and in car we are going to do win as a one property and then color is another property with please see on the screen so you can understand what I am trying to do and I am going to leverage this enum and then I will say price you can also do make and model right you can do as many attributes you want but for learning purpose I am using few attributes make sense when you are doing project you have account you have customers you can do as many attributes you want but once you know the concept attribute adding or removing should not be a problem right so here we're going to use couple of attributes so let's get started so here i'm going to say private int win number so win is the in one attribute and i'll say private color c capital color and then i'll say color that's my that's my second attri attribute i use enum here so i'm going to do comment for you so that way you can understand and then i'll say I will be price, so I'll say float, sorry, my mistake, private float price. So that is done. And I'll say private string make. Right? So this is a, now if I want to fix make as an enum, I can, right? So I can say make means like Chrysler, Dodge, or Jeep. I can create another enum. So if I want to do that, I can create a make enum and then I can use it. Make sense? Can I use multiple enum? Yes, you can use many enums if you want. So you can do that. But you got the point. At this moment, we are having four or five attributes. So far, so good. Now we are going to do first, we'll do getter and setter. Right? So you do right click. Please follow. Right click. Right click. Insert code. Insert code getter and setter getter and getter and setter check 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 and you generate so all things are done and you might notice that whenever it's enum it is using color it's not using int or string because it knows this is the enum makes sense it does beautifully getter and setter is done now let's do constructor so right click insert code constructor and check 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 all oh, check 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 right click insert code constructor right click insert code constructor and then right click insert code and two string two string and generate two string and generate easy Give me thumbs up if you are able to follow. Majority work is done. Do you think this is hard? That majority work is done. Because the only thing is creating enum and when to create enum has to be crystal clear. Think about drop down box and you are clear. Whenever you have multiple types enum, so example, chair types, right? Wooden chair, plastic chair, leather chair, enum. Make sense? Car type, like a sedan sports family enum right country type anytime you are type type means more than one or you allow user to list or select enum and then use enum into the respective class which we did get and setter two string and and we use constructor now we're going to do driver class so let's create a new class right click new java class 
and this time we'll say my driver you can write any name but i always use my driver class company normally company use executor driver something something runner so here is my driver remember first letter capital and finish at this moment you are having a new blank blank class here we're going to write main method so main method this will run when it runs it will call this guy and it will do the magic with this guy also so you will see that okay so write the main method so someone will have main method i'll borrow the main method and then we'll start from there so please add a main method and press enter so you should have a main method public static void main right now just like any time when you create an instance so your class is a template which we talked about last week class is a template in our class is a car so from their car i'm going to create my one car which is a c1 so i'll use new and that c1 will be a car type you guys agree or not because i'm creating a copy then c1 will be car type and this car has a constructor so i'm going to set 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 and then i'll print the c1 to see that it is working or not sounds good so let's start so car c1 equal to new car and in parenthesis do control space in parenthesis you do control space so in parenthesis you do control space in parenthesis do control space you can see first you need a win second you need a enum color third is a price and make so into is a win is the one in then color dot and you can see it gives me two options blue and red i like that blue and red so I'll say this is my red color car. I will normally not buy red color car, but this is the program, so I can buy it. And the float, uh, so control space, so it give a price. So we'll say twenty thousand fifty cents and F float, and then make double quotation. Let's say Chrysler and semicolon. Now one car is ready, and if I want to print it, S out. Just do C one, so it will print the first car. You can see that how nicely I use, you know, here, no problem. But here, if people write spelling mistake, different, different brands will be created. Do you guys agree or not? We, we the thousand plus we found in a 2007 that people came up with a thousand we write Chrysler. Good. Okay. Now save it and run it and see if you are able to see blue color car. So run it. And when you run it, Save it, run it, and your output should give you the result. And ta da! You see beautifully, color is red, right? Yes or no? Now, I want to create another car. Make sense? So I have one car ready. And this is, no one can change this. There's no way I will have error. So now if I want to do second car, I'm liking to highlight these two lines and do control C. Control C. C means copy. And do control V and create a second car. Control C, control V. And this time I'm going to do blue color card. I cannot write BLU lower crest blue. I have to select what I have. That's a drop down. And then this time I'm going to say this is GM car and it is very expensive car. So four and the number is two. And this is my C2. So second car. You can right click and run it, save it, run it, and you see the result. Trust me, I, as soon as I understood, I use this a lot. You know, I use a lot because you can see how nicely it is coming. But here people can do see. Here I did camel, cal, cam, um, camel case. Here I use uppercase. So here I have error. Make sense or no? People can write spelling mistakes. But any questions? Give me thumbs up if you are able to see the result and you are able to understand the concept. It's okay to give me thumbs up if you understand. Right? Awesome. Right? Awesome. Any questions before we convert these guy as a enum? Any questions? I have a question about uh, enum class uh, syntax. One thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, where we write down those options, uh, oh. is the semicolon is optional? Yeah, semicolon oh. is optional. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. 
Yeah, no problem. So now I'm hoping you're able to save it and run it. I'm hoping you're able to do. Okay. Now let's say I want to, I think people will make mistake. They will write spelling mistake. I don't want, I know my make are limited. Only three like Toyota, GM or Chrysler. Okay. Fair enough. So go to here in a package, right click on that and we'll create an enum. So please right click new Java enum. Now this time everyone will say Java enum because once you use it, it will be there. It will be there. Now if you click on it, just write here make M capital make. M capital make. So far so good. Now finish. Now let's say I want to create a only certain type of car I'm selling, right? Or I'm allowing. So in that case, GM is one and Chrysler C capital. Uh, so Chrysler like that and Toyota. MS Toyota. Is that right spelling? So this is what I'm writing. So three car I'm selling. GM because most of the car dealership should have limitations. They cannot sell all cars. So their limitations is here, GM, Chrysler, and Toyota. Make sense? See how easy it is to create the enum? It doesn't even take a minute now because my understanding gives me clarity. Now I'll go to the car and I have to use that enum, yes or no? So now listen carefully. Hello, 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 hello. Anytime, please listen. Otherwise, you will end up doing mistakes. Anytime you're changing enum or data type or attributes, you may follow simple advice. Delete all constructor and two string and all and just keep like attribute like that. So go to car and delete all setter and getter, constructor and two string to save your life. Just do it. Just keep only attributes. Because if any time you change it, you don't want to do manually. Always focus on attribute and then recreate everything. So right now, do you agree it's not a string anymore? We want to do make. So capital M make. Make sure you change it. Everyone should be very clear. I delete that. I know sometimes people say this is crazy. Why are we deleting? Because if you try to do change manually, you will go crazy because you make mistakes. Again, you know how quickly NetBin will do for us. So always focus on attribute and then recreate it. So I change that. If I have to add additional attributes, I can. Nothing wrong in that. I can add that. And then you know how to do? Getter and setter. So let's get started. Right click, insert code, getter and setter. Check, check, check. So that is done. Then right click, insert code, and then constructor. Check, check, check. Right? That is done. Then to string. Right click, insert code, and to string and generate. So that part is done. Any question? There is no red color, but there is a red color in a driver right now. Why? Because driver say, wait a minute, are you kidding? This is string, but over there it's a enum. So what should I write here? I write make M capital. As soon as I write make, it will give me options. Do you guys agree? I can pick Chrysler. Now there is no problem. No problem. And I can say make, sorry, M capital, make dot GM. Easy now. And save it, run it. Now you're pro because you know now how to use this enum. Now, in your, in, your, in your project, there are a couple of options. You will have business, so account type you can use. You can use customer type, transaction type, debit, credit, withdraw. Yes or no, all kind of things you can use. Now use your imagination. I'm not going to solve your all problem, but any questions before we change topic. Good. Clear? Enum is extremely easy, right? Simple, easy, powerful thing enum is done. So first of all, congratulations for topic completing the first topic of enum. Now, yes, right. Mm -hmm. So would there be a like on the console you pick the next for the model? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the console? Yeah, in cust 
console you can so in console if you ask user enter red so then you check which one is red and then you select that so you have to select that. so if you ask us uh, what you call console which one you are so when user is saying red then you select that based on the selection so if user is enter red so you compare with the value of enum so enum gives you value you can compare that and then you can match that i think i have some example if i'm not here uh, somewhere i put the example i'll show you i think i have some example i'll show you how to do that okay so now the second topic 